Let's talk for a few minutes about sequences. How to tell the difference between arithmetic sequence, a geometric sequence, and one that is neither. Let's start with some definitions. A sequence is a set of numbers in a specific order. When we talk about terms today, we're talking about each individual number in the sequence. Let's start with arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is an ordered list of numbers in which the difference between consecutive terms is always the same. In other words, they're adding the same number each time to find the next term. The common difference is the number that is being added to each term. A geometric sequence is an ordered list of numbers that has a common ratio between consecutive terms. In other words, they're multiplying by the same number each time. The common ratio is the number each term is being multiplied by. So let's look at a few examples. Here's some examples of arithmetic sequences. Okay, An arithmetic sequence is one where it has a common difference. They're adding the same number over and over and over again. Here we have negative 5 going to negative 2. Well, that's adding 3. From negative 2 to positive 1 is also adding 3. From positive 1 to positive 4 is adding 3. So our common difference is add 3. And our next term in this sequence would be 4 plus 3, which is 7. In our next sequence, it goes from 12 to 7 to 2 to negative 3. Now, remember, the common difference is the number that they're adding each time. Well, if I'm adding and the number is going down, I must be adding a negative. So from 12 to 7, I'm adding a negative 5. From 7 to 2, I'm adding a negative 5. To go from 2 to negative 3, I'm adding a negative 5. So our common difference is negative 5. And our next term in this sequence would be negative 3 plus negative 5, which is negative 8. So these were just a couple of examples of arithmetic sequences, where they're adding the same number over and over to get the next term. Let's look at geometric sequences. Now, a geometric sequence is one where they're multiplying by the same number over and over again. So to go from 4 to 12, well, first of all, if I'm trying to determine whether it's an arithmetic or geometric sequence, from 4 to 12 is add 8, but from 12 to 36 is not add 8. So it's not an arithmetic sequence. So it must be geometric. So let's see. To go from 4 to 12, I can multiply by 3. Now let's see if that is our common difference as we go through here. So our next one would be 12 times 3 would be 36. And 36 times 3 would be 108. So our common difference in this one is 3, or common ratio, excuse me, is 3. We're multiplying by 3 each time. So our next term in this sequence would be the number 324 that we got by multiplying 108 by 3. In our next sequence, again, they could be adding negative 4. So 8 plus negative 4 is 4. But when I go 4 plus negative 4, I don't get 2. So it's not an arithmetic sequence. So let's look and see what they could be multiplying by. Well, it looks like they're dividing by 2. But we know that multiplying by 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. So 8 times 1 half is 4. 4 times 1 half is 2. 2 times 1 half is 1. So our common ratio, or the number we're multiplying by, is 1 half. So to find our next term in the sequence, we would do 1 times 1 half, which is 1 half. I hope you found this helpful and it'll help you on today's assignment. As always, if you have any questions, please let us know.